So, my uh, change oil um, light is on. So, I'm going to change the oil in my 2005 Saturn Ion. And then I'm going to reset the oil life indicator. So I got my oil and filter as you saw. Let's get started. I like to take the oil filter out before starting and then I leave the uh, oil filter out. Just uh, also take the cap off. And while you're taking the cap off, you might as well compare what's on the top of the cap with the oil you got. Looks like we're good. So uh, you can just set that back on there. Uh, they do this. This uh, is a, I think it's a 29 millimeter uh, nut on the top. I don't remember the exact size. I do know that uh, all the sockets that may fit it are too long and it hits the intake manifold. So I'm going to use an adjustable wrench. You do risk cracking this when you use this. If it slips off, you can actually crack it. So I'm just going to be real careful. Oh, and I did break it loose before the video, just so you know. And uh, it's probably not finger finger loose yet, but I'll get that off. I'm doing this on, with a hot engine. Supposedly, when the engine oil is the motor oil is warm, it um, allows and it is hot. Um, it allows the dirt to flow out freely, so uh, more freely. I put uh, some stuff kind of like sea foam. By the way. When you take this off, you don't want to knock any dirt into the uh, canister there because it will go right into the engine. Um, but as you can see, my engine looks actually pretty clean. Uh, as I was saying, I did put some sea foam equivalent stuff in my oil. Uh, it was gum out, but it's kind of like sea foam. It supposedly allow uh, helps the dirt collect the carbon and stuff collect so when you drain your oil most of it will be at the bottom when when you're draining I don't know if it really helps any but figured give it a shot and it comes with a new o-ring for the uh, comes with a new o-ring for the top of the um, threaded thing it comes with a new o-ring for this I haven't zoomed in so much I'm sorry so I'm just going to take a paper towel, pull it off just like that, I'm just... and then you grab the new one, same thing, you just, you hold it, I hold it by the little uh, stub at the bottom because that needs to be poking up when it's on, and I just put it on like this. push it on just like that and then you can use a screwdriver if you need to When you put it back on, see, if you do it with clean hands, that won't happen, but it's going to happen anyway uh, once you put it back in. You want to put a little bit of oil on this top O-ring up here, as long as this one right here. Just as you would with a normal, well, not I won't say normal, but just as you would with one of those uh, other oil filters that look kind of like a can. So... I'm gonna leave that off while I drain the oil. So let me get that going. And you, if you're lazy and don't care, take care of your stuff like me, make sure you clean out your oil pan because, I mean your uh, drain pan, because when you go to turn it in at a, at a used oil place, it should be nice. They don't like taking dirty oil like, you know, with all this stuff. Or if it has water in it, they won't take it either. So just wipe it out real good with some paper towels. 
A 15 millimeter bolt on the back of the oil pan. I broke it loose, but the bolt's still all the way in. I just, it's finger tight now, at least. And make sure your oil pan's under here, and it likes to spray. Here's a tip. Put, make sure your pan, like the edge of it, isn't centered underneath the bottom of it, because it likes to spray all the way out. It's probably gonna, so, I mean, yeah, it will spray. Okay, so I broke it loose so it's not like super tight. But I lied at the same time I'm going the wrong way. There we go. And what I usually do is I'll push, I'll push pressure on the bolt towards holding it in. Because it's hot. This oil is going to be hot. And the second I feel the threads bounce back, so the bolt goes in back in again. Oh shit, that's hot. Should wear some of the heat gloves. Break. Oops. Make sure you catch it. Shit. Like I said, it likes to spray. Freaking cramp in my back. Oh my god. God, shit. And then there's a little drizzle coming straight down, so it's like making a big ass mess. Shit. Let that drain for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Look at my mess. Look at my mess. I just want to show you guys what the dipstick looked like because the oil was pretty black. And of course my camera doesn't want to focus on this close up thing. So anyway. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was actually. So it's just like drip, drip, drip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt back in the back. You don't have to get it that tight. You don't wanna strip it out. So I just give it a good little that's probably good enough, but I might go a little bit more. Yeah, that's as tight as I'm going to go. And then I wipe off what's dripping off left. It's time to put the oil filter in. Like I said, don't forget to oil this O-ring as well as this one. So just dip your finger. Your fingers are pretty clean. Dip your finger in there. and your fresh oil and then run it along the bottom and then you can see where we're going to put it right back in that hole screw it in with your hands first so you don't cross thread Now it's just plastic, so you don't want to put it on that tight. I'd say that's probably, this is probably, yeah, I don't want to go any tighter than that. If it's not leaking, it's good. Now that we did that, it's time to pour it in.
then put the cap back on and start it up for a minute or two so all the oil gets circulated and check your oil levels. If you put five quarts in there, it's probably pretty close. It's going to be kind of harder to see the oil on the dipstick since it's so clean. And my dipstick actually shows, if I can show you, they're actually a little low. Check it on a cold, it's best if you check it when it's cold. But uh, next I'll show you how to reset the oil light. Okay, you're going to need your key. Put your key in the ignition. Turn it all the way to the run position where all the lights come on. And it's going to say change oil. When that happens, go ahead and hold the, hold the uh, trip no, tap the trip, then hold the trip, sorry. And it's going to say reset. Now your thing won't go off anymore. Now it's just going to show you your mileage. And uh, there you go. That is how you change your oil on a 2005 Saturn Ion. It'll work for the View and the Chevy Cobalt as well. And that's how you reset it reset your oil life.